I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for May the 5th, 2023. Politico reports, lawmakers dismiss possibility of debt limit off-ramp. Congress is hurtling toward a debt crisis in weeks, and this time lawmakers may not be able to fall back on their time-honored tradition of punting the problem. Key members from both parties are rejecting the idea of hiking the debt ceiling for a short period to give negotiations more time. Republicans are blaming President Joe Biden and Democrats for waiting too long to start talks in the first place, while Democrats insist Republicans stop playing with fire and support a clean debt increase. That leaves only a few weeks for the two sides to strike a deal. And while Congress has proven it can move fast under pressure, there are creeping doubts it could move fast enough this time. A temporary extension of the nation's borrowing ability could be where Congress and the White House eventually end up in efforts to avert an economic catastrophe. ABC News reports, Bernie Sanders endorses Biden, rules out 2024 bid of his own. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont said Tuesday that he would forego another presidential bid of his own and instead endorse President Joe Biden's re-election. The leading progressive, who was Biden's chief rival in the 2020 Democratic presidential primary, told the Associated Press that he would, quote, do everything I can to see the president is re-elected. Biden on Tuesday announced his decision to seek a second term, even as polls suggest that voters in both parties don't want him to run again. The Democratic president will face the winner of a crowded Republican primary, which features former President Donald Trump and half a dozen lower-profile conservatives. In foregoing another presidential bid of his own, Sanders said he would continue to fight for progressive policies as chair of the Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions, in addition to helping form new labor unions. And finally, an article from townhall.com states, The issue Gates and AOC have just teamed up on. An unlikely alliance was formed between Democrat and Republican lawmakers this week to introduce legislation blocking members of Congress, as well as their spouses and dependents, from stock trading. Republican Representative Matt Gates of Florida joined Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York to introduce the bipartisan Restoring Faith in Government Act. This is not the first time lawmakers have tried to get a ban on stock trading passed. Efforts were undertaken following scrutiny over Representative Nancy Pelosi's husband's trades, prompting Senator Josh Hawley to introduce the Pelosi Act. AOC and Gates emphasized the need to restore public trust in Congress and that lawmakers should focus on their constituents not stock portfolios. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for May the 5th, 2023. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.